In today's video, we're going to be re reviewing this Draghi uh, GPS base uh, performance meter. This costs around $150 US. So I'm going to open up the box. So this is a compact uh, GPS based performance meter. Measure about 3 inch by 1 inch and around uh, I would say half an inch is thick. With this you can monitor your uh, 0 to 60, 60 to 100 miles per hour, 100 to 200 kilometers per hour, quarter mile, half a mile performance and much more. So Draghi uses a high-speed GPS satellite to accurately measure your vehicle's performance within one hundred of a second. And it's producing uh, identical result as you were in the drag strip. And the Draghi uh, software automatically charge, uh, charge the slope of your time slip, which you can then post to uh, forums and social media and share with your friends or you can even upload to the uh, drag the uh, leaderboard so this is so compact uh, even if you're not using it you can just hide it in your glove box and when you're ready to use it you can just pull it out and uh, measure your performance on your car so by measuring your performance, you can also measure your uh, braking performance, such as 100 to a 0. Or if you like to do 0 to 60, when you did some upgrades in your car, you want to do 0 to 60 to measure the difference before and after the installation of the performance part. And also, if you want to do a quarter mile run, let's say, uh, you know, you want to measure the quarter mile run on your car, what your car is, is capable of doing. So at least, you know, uh, you can measure it with the draggy uh, unit. So inside the box here, we have the draggy uh, unit as itself. And some uh, instruction. I uh, actually have two plates. Uh, one plate I already use it in the car, and a USB charger, which uh, I don't have it here now. I have it on my office. Uh, I do charge this uh, draggy before I uh, try to test something. Make sure the draggy is fully charged, and that's how I uh, prepare my draggy before I do the test. So the draggy is. Uh, Compatible with uh, Apple iOS or uh, Android cell phone. And it has a battery life of uh, 10, 10 hours. So connect, uh, to connect your phone to the uh, Draghi, all you have to do is uh, download the app. In my case, I have the Android phone, so I have to go to the Play Store and search Draghi. See? Search for Draghi, and then uh, in my case, I already installed it on my, uh, on my phone, so uh, I don't need to install it again. So all we have to do is just open it up. And here you can see uh, you have to press connect to uh, to connect to the draggy. So now you see the lights are on, and it's sending satellite data to draggy. So this one we can skip this one. As you can see, the uh, the battery indication on my drag is a bit low, so because I didn't charge them yet. So anyway. So this is how you open it, your uh, your app, and this is how you connect to Draghi. So with this, you can uh, you can see your uh, zero to sixty runs. That's your uh, record, your history. 
quarter mile, quarter mile runs, half a mile, or you're braking from 60 to, you know, 60 to uh, zero miles per hour. So you can also go to the leaderboard Here the leaderboard you can see all the cars that has the uh, the fastest run that they uploaded their uh, the speed runs on the draggy. So these people uh, who has the fast car they they uploaded it and they can share it with their friends or put it on social media. Or I can just click me. This is my profile. I can you know check all the video runs that I did. All the video runs that I did, uh, you know, the settings, I can change the settings or the unit. Let's like say uh, in this case, I, I only check mark the, uh, see, the zero to 60 miles per hour and the quarter mile. So that's, that's the only thing I try to record for now. So uh, because I don't want to have too many uh, data on, uh, on this draggy about my run so I just need the uh, one that I really need like the 0 to 60 and a quarter mile run so we go back here again then the draggy is ready to go see as soon as you run your car it's gonna start measuring your uh, performance so why draggy is good because in case you modified something in your car you can find out if you really gain performance on that part that you installed on your car instead of just feeling the car you know at least with this you can validate with the time that if you really improve some performance on your car instead of just your car making noise without any performance upgrade that happened on your car so I would say this is the best uh, you know the best value for the buck in in terms of measuring your car's performance because you don't need to go to the drag strip all the time you can just put this on your car and you can just do your run you can check the 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 result after your run then you can compare the before and after like what i did on my previous video i installed this uh, KN air filter against the stock air filter and i see that there's an improvement of uh, 0.4 seconds on my zero to 60 uh, zero to 60 run so that's a good indication for me that the the part already it's it's working like it's 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 not a nonsense modification it really does the job you see the gains that the part did to your car so anyway in this video I'm going to show you how to install the drag on your car and you can see some of the, the the runs that I did, the comparison runs the before and after on my previous video. So I'm only going to show you the two run video where you can see the before and after the performance of the air filter. So this is how I installed the draggy on the car. I usually put it near the sunroof or I put it on top of the hood so the drag has a very strong magnet so it's not gonna go anywhere even though you drive so fast it's still it's still gonna stay there so you don't need to worry about this falling off while you're driving so here are the two video shots that I got from Draghi when I did the 0 to 60 performance runs on the air filter uh, upgrade you can check out this video if you want to see the whole uh, process so this video is the run with the stock air filter which give me the result of uh, 5.6 on 0 to 60 and this is the 0 to 60 of the uh, Canon air filter with the AFV intake air scoop which gave me the result of 5.22 as you can see the difference in uh, 
0 to 60 indicates that the draggy is really measuring the difference between the two after the performance uh, part has been installed. If you're doing a lot of performance upgrade on a car, I think uh, the best way to measure your uh, performance is with a draggy. So I put down the link in the description below if you're really interested in uh, purchasing this product. And uh, I hope you like the video. Please subscribe and like, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.